Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is LaDonna. I'm a homeschooling mom of two, and on my channel, I just like to share what we're learning, how we're growing, and what God is doing in our lives. In today's video, I'm really excited to share with you our morning basket for the 2021-2022 school year. I just want to let you know everything that you're going to see in this basket we do not do every day. There are some things we only do twice a week and others once a week. So please keep that in mind. I'll give you details as I'm sharing. So let's go ahead and jump in. This is my basket right here. If you have been around here for a while, you know that I keep this right underneath our coffee table. The very first thing that we do in the mornings that I do not physically have to show you is our current events. This year we purchased a subscription to World Watch. Last year we used the magazines. That really wasn't working for us. We love them, however, they were requiring a lot more time than I wanted to give. So we scratched that this year and we decided to go with World Watch News and y'all, my kids love it. We aren't even completely through a full week of school and they absolutely love it. I love how they have it broken up. I love the information that they share and I love how they tie it up for the kids at the end. You know, they just, they make it fun, they make it engaging and it's working for us and we love it. The very next thing that we move into are our morning menus. If you've been around here, you've seen this. As you can see, I did not change the cover for this year. Hey, it worked, I'm not gonna change it out and um, if you know me then you know I don't like to print anything so anyway uh, the very first thing that they have in their morning menu is a calendar system the last video I shared I did not uh, mention where this came from I actually purchased this morning bundle from the treehouse schoolhouse now I am using the very same one from last year so I did not repurchase any of these things I um, held on to them the only thing I repurchased this year was the new calendar system but what I want you to know is she has several price options if all you want is this piece of paper you can buy this piece of paper if all you want is the calendar you can buy the calendar if all you want um, is the, the weather uh, and seasons you can buy that if you want it all you can buy it all now again she has updated it this is from the previous year however it still works for us and I really do that for my daughter but anyway I really like for them to see the calendar I like for them to circle the date then on this page um, they pick the date they pick the month they actually write the date out I think that is so important for homeschooled so they really aren't um, writing at the top of their papers like they would in a normal school system however I still want them to at least write the date one time during the day at the bottom there is a clock and then right here you see the weather the temperature and the seasons on the next page this is something that we're doing new this year. We did have affirmations last year. However, I really wanted to incorporate a little bit more of scripture memorization and I've prayed over this and I finally settled on this but this year we will be focusing on Philippians chapter 2 verses 3 through 11 and if you aren't familiar with these verses these verses are known as the attitude of Christ and I thought that this would be a really great place for us to start now the next page I am NOT going to show you only because there's some personal information on there but what I do is I have my children practice our home address and all of our phone numbers every single day I feel like that is so important and since my children aren't in a school setting they really aren't um, they really aren't using that information as often as they should so I just have them copy our address and our phone numbers write them down uh, and it just helps and listen beware because my my 11 year old son has started prank calling me. There's a whole funny story as to how it started, but look, this works. So if you're trying to help your kids memorize phone numbers and addresses, I would highly encourage you to put it in your morning time work, um, but just beware you could be getting some prank calls. Um, man, there's still like water on here from when I cleaned it. Uh, so the next page, these are our affirmations. Um, I kind of went with a Charlotte Mason model, but as you can see right there, I can't really read backwards and the glare is terrible, but just so you can have a general idea. 
I got a lot of inspiration from Pinterest and just kind of made my own. That's not anything I purchased. And then also on the back, um, our hem. This is the hem that we are focusing on this month and we are loving it. So to kind of keep going with that, to help with our hem study, I did purchase the Then Sings My Soul book. Amazon had this for 50% off like two months ago and I snagged it up. You can see all my little tabs right here for the hymns we're gonna be focusing on. For those of you who are interested, I'll just tell you what we're gonna be learning. Uh, I'd rather have Jesus, I surrender all, trust and obey, standing on the promises, what a friend we have in Jesus, just as I am, Come thou fount every blessing. And I love that, you know, you get the hymn right here, but then you also get the history, the story, uh, the person who wrote the words and the person who wrote the music. This has just been so valuable to us. And look, we've only, we're only one hymn in and I was already crying. I don't know if you know any of the history on, um, I surrender all, but if you don't, you need to look into it. If you can get this book, get this book, but if you don't, just look into it. It's absolutely beautiful, and I love how we've been able to just tie it in throughout our day. Okay, the next thing that's in our morning basket is our Bible. Now, I know that this is a little unconventional when it comes to homeschool, but our Bible is foundational. It is something that I want our homeschool to revolve around, um, but also it is something that I want to help come alive for my children. So this is what I went with this year. If you've been around here, then you know I love the foundations um, discipleship material. They have some for adults and teenagers and children, uh, and basically it is a Bible reading plan. It's a 260 day Bible reading plan so obviously we will not finish it in the school year however it's something that we can do on the weekends and even into the summer and we're loving it so far we're a week into it and it is perfect um, just so you can see a page but you can see right there um, the verses, the explanation, and then uh, they have an apply section, and there's usually an activity with the apply section, and then a little prayer. We love it. Uh, I definitely think it is appropriate, and though I know you can't get through the Bible in 260 days, however, they're hitting, they're hitting all of the foundational truths of the Bible. Um, they're, they're helping the children to see that, you know, the Bible is just seamless. From Genesis to Revelation, it all connects and it all points to Jesus. And I really do love that. So anyway, this is going really well. Another thing that we have in here is our Attributes of God cards. This came from the Daily Grace Co. I'll just show you the cover. Uh, the attributes of God. Basically how I'm using this is we focus on one attribute a week and this week we're focusing on the attribute of God being faithful and I love it so much because the Lord has just tied it in to every single thing but anytime I get the opportunity to point back to God being faithful I do. Another thing that I have in here that we are really loving, at first my kids were a little like, what is that? But it's going so well. I have these My Kids Prayer Journals. They each have one. Um, and this is something that they do on their own, but basically each page just looks like this. And it says, there's a place for them to write the date. It says, hi God, today I, Today I am thankful for, and today I'd like to pray for. So I just really wanted to help um, them make space in their brains, uh, in their hearts, in their thought life to start thinking like this. You know, I pray for myself all the time. You know, Lord, just help me to make room for you in my my thoughts and my pondering um, because I just don't want to waste that part of my life. I know that probably sounds weird, but um, I want to help my kids um, with that as well. And I thought this would be a great place to start. And like I said, at first they weren't crazy about it, but now they're like, hey, this is, this, this is really cool. So, you know, and they just write a variety of things down. Like, you know, uh, yesterday David wrote for the first part. Today, Today I will be learning Spanish, you know, um, and obviously they wrote down the things that they're thankful for. Then they wrote down the things that are on their heart and what they wanted to pray for because I want to make sure we're 
incorporating our prayer request as well. Um, the next thing that I have that I'm really, really excited about, uh, if you've been around here, you know that I have this volume, but it's the Answer Books for Kids, and I believe there are eight volumes, and basically, I'm just reading one question a day, and look, they love it. They love for me to read the question, the child that wrote the question, how old the child is, you know, where they live, and what the question is, and the answer. Um, it's going really well, and we are really enjoying these. So the next thing that I have that I want to show you, okay, yeah, so all of those things are things that we do every day. Obviously the attribute we focus on once a week, but these other things I'm going to show you are looped in. Now, this is not looped in. I do a read aloud every day. Right now we are reading My Side of the Mountain and we are loving it. We are loving it. I love the way that this is uh, written. This sucked us in uh, and just captivated us the very first chapter um, and my kids are really enjoying it. Now, what I do want to say is this is about a little boy who runs away from home. So obviously that is something we had to address. However, it really is cool. And you know, I have an 11 year old boy who is an outdoorsman and this is totally up his alley. So we are... 35 pages in and we love it. Now, while they are reading, they have the option to draw or to do their sticker by number books. This year, I got them both the same book because last year we had a lot of complaining because everybody didn't have the same book, whatever. So I got them the same book. Now, I buy the thicker ones and we get these from Rainbow Resource. If you're unfamiliar with um, these books, as you can see, there is a, a picture um, on each page uh, that is um, blank. <laughs> I'm trying to get it out and I can't get it out. So what they do is they have to go to the back of the book and they have to find um, the sheet that matches the page number. It will have the stickers for them to fill in uh, whatever the picture is. But I'll show you right here. There are, I believe there are 42 in here. So just so you can see some of um, they do have a section in here that shows you what some of the pictures should look like. My kids love these things. And look, they're not very easy. You know, you have to sit and you have to think. Um, and you really have to pay attention to what you're doing. And I love that. I love that they're, you know, uh, thinking while they're doing this. And I also love that it's a way for them to keep their little hands busy as we're reading. Because typically when they get still, they start fighting, they aggravate the dog, and then I have to stop reading, and it's just too much drama. So anyway, stickers by number for the win every single time. And if they don't want to do that, they can draw, and I'm totally okay with that. They both have a sketch pad. The very next thing I want to show you that I'm super excited about. We have not started it yet because I wanted to wait. I wanted to wait till we were out of the very first week of school. But I purchased, after much research, laying down the rails. So this is a Charlotte Mason approach to habit training. So right here, this is the handbook. And then I have books one and two. Look, there's like my hair everywhere. I have books one and two. I did buy this as a set. Uh, I think that you can get them individually. Uh, however, if you don't know much about this, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it because that's not what this video is about, but I would encourage you to go to the Simply Charlotte Mason's YouTube channel, our website, and check it out. Um, I do plan on speaking on this more because you know, we haven't even started it, but from what I can see right now, I love it. I love it. Now, this is a Charlotte Mason approach to habit training. So this is not something that you physically do every day. Now, we, you can do lessons two to three days a week. The lessons are short and simple. And throughout the day, you practice that habit or you practice applying the habit. Now, let me say this. When I saw this, I was very overwhelmed and I was totally unsure on where to start. However, I love that when I started to when I started digging into this, they highlighted that Charlotte Mason believed that the top 3 habits that we should give attention to first are obedience, attention, and truthfulness. So, I want you to know those are the 3 that I'm starting with because I didn't know where else to start. 
Uh, after that, I went to my husband and I said, look, I need three more habits. What do you think about this? Can you look at this? I'm totally okay with, um, you know, where you want to land. So with his help, we decided to also do kindness. Let me see if the next one's right here. Reading for instruction and self-control. So those will be the six habits we focus on this year. I'm really excited about this. We are gonna start it uh, next week, Lord willing. I've got a little bit more reading to do and we are gonna jump in. Uh, what I have right here are some more cards from the Daily Grace Co. These are the uh, books of the Bible. This right here is for the Old Testament. This right here is for the New Testament. If you have not seen these, these are awesome. I love them so much. Look, I grabbed two so you'll be able to see two. But obviously you can see there's a picture with the name of uh, the book on the bottom of the card. And then on the back you just see a key verse and the theme and a little bit of an explanation um, and we love this you know I've used a variety of different resources in the past to help my children memorize the books of the Bible uh, our favorite love my husband speaking through that's hilarious he wants to come inside I'm trying like they're all outside while I'm filming this anyway our favorite is music um, however I just kind of wanted to give them something a little bit more visual we still are using music this just gives us a little bit more of an opportunity to talk about the different books of the Bible and the themes and how they all connect. So moving on, the very last thing I wanna show you, and I'm really excited about it, these resources are free. They are from the voice of the martyrs. And what I have right here is a 2021 global prayer guide. And then um, I have our magazine that we get that they send every two months, I think it is. I think it's every two months we get one um, but I put that in there because I thought you know what that would be a really great visual for them to look through and then also this hearts on fire eight women in the underground church and their stories of costly faith this isn't something that we read every day we're only going to read this on Fridays and I know some of you are probably like wow LaDonna that's in your morning basket yes um, and if you're new here you need to know that missionaries are very very important to our home school we do a lot of missionary studies and we are always talking about answering the call of God so I just kind of thought that this would be a great way to aid in that also I'm loving it because we're doing my father's world exploring countries and cultures and this is really helping and look I also just want to say this and I got pretty emotional about it the very first country we, we prayed for is Afghanistan and obviously you know here we are the end of August and we're seeing the situation in in Afghanistan unfold and I just took this opportunity to talk about it uh, and to talk about what it meant for the believers that are there obviously we have a concern for everyone there but I just took this as an opportunity to discuss what it means when God calls us to a hostile place um, and I love the information that they gave in here because you know they talk about that you know uh, the Obviously, the overview of the country, the major religion, um, those that are persecuted, what that means, what it means to follow Christ in Afghanistan, uh, what they have access to as far as Bibles and other types of Christian resources. And yeah, it's just been really, really good. I'm really excited about it. So anyway, friends, this is our morning basket for the 2021-2022 school year. I would love to hear what's in your morning basket. Please let me know below in the comments. If you want any more information on on any of these resources please ask I will get to you if you want to see sort of a flip through or if you just want to know how we are liking it or what our thoughts are please ask that and I will answer it there and yeah that's what I have for you thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time bye